Miss Africa, Nazareth University. Uh -huh. Go to tag number. Uh -huh. Tag number. Uh -huh. Tag number. Uh -huh. Tag number nine. Hi, my name is Michelle Otieno. I am the reigning Miss Africa Nazarene University 2023. I'm a third year student pursuing bachelor's degree in education with a double major in geography and Swahili. I'm a passionate model and a professional one. I competed last year. I managed to be top five but was disqualified um, just because I had another crown apparently. I was actually Miss Environment that time. But so um, an opportunity to grow more as a model because Miss ANU is a bigger platform compared to Miss Environment since Miss Environment is basically about advocacy for the environment while Miss ANU is now about modeling itself, the training, the pageantry, the work. So when I went um, to this competition this year, I feel like it was different because now I had the opportunity to be who I am and just to um, improve more. The, the competition was actually very different. There was stiff competition because we also had other contestants from last year who wanted the crown as well. So I feel like it was a better competition and the chances were better, yeah. Having good friends around you is very important. I had very close friends who stood up with me during the whole journey, like the whole last year when I was so broken because I had been disqualified. And they, they, they told me to keep on keeping on, never to give up. And they inspired me, helping me out th um, during the training session. And also I feel like giving up is never an option to me. I feel like if I want something, I should go for it, pray about it and get it. Well, I must say that God's timing is always the best because clearly um, there's a very big difference in terms of even the experience. Well, I waited, went back, trained harder, came back better and bigger, which means that right now I'm even fit to represent the school in other big pageants. I'll be contesting for Mr. and Miss University Africa Kenya this year. And I feel like I'm right now in the right position to even um, become a winner as well. So I feel like time is time heals, you know, and the time I had to um, progress and become better was very, very important. So I feel like it was God's plan all along. And right now I'm so happy that I am the face of ANU. The talent category was a struggle because people know me as a footballer, you know. I'm currently the captain as well for the football ladies team. And you can't showcase uh, the football like my, my talent for football was very hard to showcase it during the pre-gala. So I had to look for something else that I feel like is what I can do. And I opted for spoken word because I felt like uncomfortable situations give us the resilience to push harder. So spoken word was very important because it helped me to um, showcase and to be the voice to warn and also to inspire using the word and the poetry. So daughter, when you're grown, just in case you want to be an insect, I want you to be a bee. So that if ever a man wants to call you honey, he should know that you can make honey. Wow, I must say uh, every privilege comes with the responsibility. There's a lot uh, that comes with the crown and that is marketing the school with your life. That is, wherever you are, you're representing the whole ANU. And the ANU is a school that deals with character as well as um, values, various values. And I feel like now I have the pressure to behave as one. And it's not a problem. I know I can manage. Other than that, I'm so privileged to be um, the face of ANU because um, I'm representing a school that is bigger and better and it's growing every time, you know. Like right now we have um, classes that are very digitalized, you know, and it's a very beautiful school. So being the beauty of ANU is just an honor and yeah, I'm very privileged. Um, competing as face of ANU, I wasn't really um, looking at plans or even projects. I wanted to uh, market the school with their strategies 
but also come up with strategies that will market the school and one of them is to continue with the modeling club that was started by the former Miss African Nazarene University. They wanted to start a modeling club where we um, help students to be able to brand the school and to market the school in various ways. So I feel like this year we want to actualize that plan and make it um, a reality. So modeling club is going to be our um, signature project. And other than that, of course, marketing the school using our social medias, using our lives and also merchandise. We should always be the change that we admire. We as the youth are potential agents of change and whatever problem we see, we should be um, aiming to change and rectify it. So I feel like in whatever you do as a youth, make sure you have integrity and do the right thing at the right time. And as I always say, pageantry to me is like leadership. And leadership, of course, is service to humanity. And service to humanity is service to God. Thank you.